Hi student, welcome back to this video. So today we are going to learn about neuron. So what is neuron? Neuron is a nerve cell. It transmits impulse. So we receive a lot of impulse daily and we, we, we receive impulse produced by receptor. So basically, it, the receptor will detect uh, the stimulus. For example, I feel cold. So when I feel cold, it will send an impulse to the neuron. Let's say you send neuron, it's a send impulse to a neuron to my brain. My brain interpret that I am cold. So it will send impulse to my leg. Then my leg will walk away from here. And this is how our body works. So of course, it's sent to our effector. Okay, effector is our muscle cell. So it could be our leg muscle, it could be our hand muscle. So what the question might ask, the question might ask is, name three type of neuron. So it's a straightforward question, it's sensory neuron, it's relay neuron, and also it is motor neuron. So you get marks for it. And usually the question will ask, ask is, like he will give you this picture and he will ask the student, what types of neuron is this? And you must know that this is sensory neuron. If the question asks you, what type of neuron is this? Then you know it, it is motor neuron. So how to know this? How to memorize this? The best picture to refer is your textbook because different revision book have different diagram. So I would say the best is um, your revision book. So basically there are a few things that you need to know that for sensory neuron, the axon is usually is longer. The nucleus and the cell body is at the between, is in the middle of the nerve cell. And for motor neuron, usually the nucleus at the end of the neuron and you can see the dendron is longer. And this is a dendron, it is longer. So what is a dendron? Dendron transmit impulse to the cell body, okay? It will transfer to the cell body and then transfer the impulse to the effector. So for <coughs> relay neuron, usually the cell body is at the middle and we can, we can see there's no like myelin sheet around. We can see from here, there is myelin sheet. So you need to remember the, the picture, okay? Um, by understanding it and you also need to know how to label it for example the question will ask you what is x so x is a myelin sheet what is y y is not of Renvier. so there are many things you need to remember so root of Renvier, we can see is at the you know the between this two box okay there's the between this part so between this part is called root of Renvier, root of Renvier. Road of Hamwell. Axon is like this line, the middle of the line. Okay, so this is axon, and at the end of it is called dendrite. So how the impulse travel from the left to the right or from the right to the left? If the question asks, so we know that the impulse transfer from the receptor from this side to this side, and for the motor neuron. The question might ask, from which direction the impulse travel? From here to here or from the left side to the right side? Where is it from? So we can see that here is the effector, here is the dendron. So basically the impulse transfer from here to the effector, to the muscle cell. Okay. So for motor neuron, it's basically it's a simple diagram the nucleus and the cell bodies at the middle, large then dry. So the question might ask again, what are the function of sensory neuron A or B? What are the function of motor neuron? And what are the function of um, another neuron, neuron? So you need to say that is to transfer nerve impulse from receptor to central nervous system and for the motor neuron the function is to transfer impulse from central nervous system to the effector and what the function of relay neuron is to transfer impulse from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron so basically i think these are the few questions that 
exam or it's a question that usually they will ask so i hope you can understand this and if you have anything you can comment below i see you in the next video thank you bye bye